Deepfakes have catapulted us into a world where reality can be manipulated with just a few clicks. Public figures and world leaders can be made to say or do things they never actually did. Now, digital manipulation of media is nothing new. Remember Photoshop? This technology debuted in 1990, and with it, you could swap out the background of an image or smooth out someone's skin in a portrait. Sure, those edits were impressive, but they were often easy to spot if you knew where to look. Today, deepfake technology has taken digital manipulation to an entirely new level, blurring the line between what's real and what's not. But what exactly is a deepfake, and how did this technology become so convincing? Let's break this down. AI has been a game changer in so many ways, from predicting disease outbreaks to making our digital assistants smarter. But deepfakes? They're like the dark side of AI, producing images, audio, and video designed to deceive. So what exactly is a deepfake? It's not just any AI-generated content. If you use AI to create an image of, say, a woman playing a guitar, that's just an artificial creation, nothing harmful there. Companies like Meta even label such content as AI generated to ensure transparency. But when AI is used to manipulate real content with the intent to deceive, that's when it crosses into deepfake territory. Imagine taking that AI generated image and superimposing Taylor Swift's face onto the guitarist's body. Suddenly, you've created something intended to mislead, and that's what experts define as a deepfake. The intent to deceive is the key factor, and as AI grows more sophisticated, the risks increase exponentially. And the worst part? It gets harder and harder to tell what's real and what's not. Now, the word deepfake is a portmanteau, combining the computational concept of deep learning with the word fake. Deep learning is a branch of AI where computers are trained to recognize patterns like in images or sounds and then generate something that looks or sounds real to some extent. But how does it work? Imagine a brain with a network of neurons, all firing in different patterns. AI mimics this with what's called neural networks. The deep part? That refers to the multiple layers of these networks, which allow the AI to learn and adapt with minimal human guidance, and the result is an AI that can now create images, audio, and videos that are startlingly realistic. Now, you could think to yourself, this is a deepfake, right? Not quite. You see, technology alone isn't enough to create a deepfake. It also requires human intent. Deepfake creators use this advanced technology to produce highly convincing forgeries, either by altering existing content like swapping faces in a video or by generating entirely new content from scratch. These AI systems are trained on massive data sets of images, videos, and text, allowing them to create outputs that closely mimic real-world scenarios that never happened. Now, let's talk about the real-world impact. Think about a fake video of a politician making inflammatory statements just days before an election. It could sway public opinion, maybe even change the outcome of that election. Or imagine a deepfake of a CEO announcing a major financial decision. Stock prices could plummet or soar in an instant. Even Warren Buffett, a man who's seen it all in the financial world, was shocked after seeing a deepfake of himself. He said it was like unleashing a genie from a bottle, something powerful and uncontrollable. And he's right. As this technology becomes more accessible, the potential for harm grows. We're not just talking about pranks or harmless jokes. Deepfakes can be used to ruin reputations, incite violence, and spread misinformation on a massive scale. Deepfake technology is advancing at an astonishing pace, making it increasingly difficult to distinguish between reality and digital deception. What was once a niche technology has now entered the mainstream with profound implications for trust, privacy, and security. As we continue to navigate this new digital landscape, the challenge will be finding ways to protect ourselves from the growing threat of deepfakes while still harnessing the positive potential of AI. The line between what's real and what's not is becoming even blurrier, and it's up to all of us to remain vigilant as we move forward in this age of digital deception.